One of the great new features in Office 2010 is found in Microsoft Word 2010 and is called Quick Parts. Quick Parts allows you to do a number of things to improve your efficiency. An example of a quick part would be if you end your letters with the same ending all the time, perhaps your name, your position, your company, for example, rather than do it yourself and have to type it in over and over again, what you might want to do is consider creating a quick part for yourself. Another example would be if you do much work in Microsoft Word creating contracts or proposals, maybe you have text that you want to include in your contracts and proposals on a fairly regular basis. It might be paragraphs or pages of information, and rather than have to go to an older document, find your information, copy it, and then bring it to the new document and paste it, you can create yourself a quick part for it. This video is all about creating quick parts in the new version of Microsoft Word, Word 2010. Also talks about how you, in, how you insert quick parts into your document. Here's one example of using a quick part in Microsoft Word 2010. I've got uh, an example of my signature in a Word document. I just typed in yours truly and then my, my name, my position, and my company's name. And I had a scanning of my signature inserted into it as well. So what I'll do now is demonstrate how you create a quick part for yourself so that you can use it, use it over and over again in the future. So step number one, once you have the document open with the information that you want to include in your quick part, the next step is you select the text or the information that you want to include in your quick part just by using your mouse. That's step number one, select the text. The next part of the process is, is to go above the ribbon and click on the tab that says the word insert. Now, it's, insert seems like a little bit of an odd place to go to build a quick part, but this is going to be the place we'll go eventually to enact or to put our quick part into an existing document. So we'll click on the insert tab. I'm now going to move over in the ribbon about two-thirds of the way across on the ribbon and click on the quick parts button. I'm going to drop down list. And in the drop down list, the last choice says save selection. Now don't forget, we already had the, this information selected before we went to this process. It's, we'll click on save selection to quick part gallery. It'll take us into a window. And we're going to leave the, leave the name of the quick part as yours truly. Although I could type this, call it something different if I chose to do so. I'm going to click on OK. And our quick part is now completed. I'm just going to test it out to make sure that it works. I want to go below the information I just finished typing. Imagining now I'm at the end of a letter. I want to insert my quick part into the end of a letter. I go again back up to the ribbon. I click on the Insert tab. I move across to the Quick Parts button and click. I'll get a drop-down list. It'll show me the quick part that I just finished building. I'll click on that, and that'll insert it into my document for me. Again, I'll just do it again. So move down a little bit. I go Insert, Quick Parts. Click on my quick part that I built earlier, and I've now got my signature insert into my document. Just save me the uh, the extra steps I had to go to go to to another document, copy it, and paste it. Here's a second example of when I would use a quick part at Microsoft Word 2010. This might be an example where I've got paragraphs of information that I want to use over and over again, maybe in a proposal or a contract. And rather than open up an earlier Microsoft Word document, copy it, and then come back to this new document and paste it, I'll create a quick part for myself. So once you have the document open that holds the information that I want to create a quick part of, the second step is I use my mouse and I select the text that I want to use for my quick part. Then I go to the ribbon, above the ribbon, and click on the Insert tab. I move across about well, two-thirds of the way across on the ribbon. I'll click on Quick Parts. Now there's the quick part that I got earlier. I'll move down, lower down, and click on this choice that says Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery. In other words, save the information that I have selected. I'll click on that. It takes me into a window. I'm going to call this uh, boilerplate, sort of like boilerplate information I might use in, the, in a future contract or proposal. I'll click on OK. And I now have my quick part completed. Now to demonstrate the use of this, I'm going to, create, I'm going to start a brand new document this time. So I'm just going to use my keyboard to start a brand new document. I'm going to go Control and N for a brand new document. I want to put my quick part in, so I'll go to the Insert tab. I'll move across again on the ribbon looking for the Quick Parts button. I'll click on that. There's my quick part called Boilerplate. There's also the one I created earlier for my signature. I'll click on the Boilerplate one. we will put that information into my document. I'll just touch enter once on my keyboard. I now want to put my signature in. I'll go back to the Quick Parts button again and click on my signature. I now have the boilerplate information and my signature in my document. So there you have it. Uh, 
information about how you can use the one of the great new features in Office 2010 in Microsoft Word 2010, the Quick Part feature. My name is Joe Peterson. For more informative videos about becoming more effective in using Office 2010 applications, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and so on, please visit our website. The website's name is joecomputertips.com. My name is Joe Peterson. Thanks.